कल की पुराना इट से दिन कल की पुराना चैप्टर नंबर टू वर्स नंबर फाइव सेवन नाइन इलेवन फोर्टीन रेफरेंस दैट देर इज एन आखिरी अवतार टू कम फादर्स नेम विल बी विष्णु यास विष्णु मीन्स गॉड यास मीन्स सर्वेंट सर्वेंट ऑफ गॉड द नेम ऑफ द फादर ऑफ प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद अब्दुल्ला सर्वेंट ऑफ गॉड हुज दैट कल की पुराना नॉट द खुराना इट से मदर्स नेम विल बी सुमति Sumati means peace, serenity. The name of the mother of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Madame Na, peace, serenity. He'll be born in the village of Sambal, the village of peace, Makka. He'll be born in the tribe of the leader of Makka, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, born in the family of Quraysh. He will get enlightenment in a cave. He got in Garahira. He'll have four very close friends, the four Khulfa Rashidin. Who says that? Kal ki hota hai. So when your scripture says. that the kalki avatar is going to come why don't you believe in the kalki avatar namaste to all i made several videos in the past and you can see those videos under my playlist to zakir naik to prove that zakir naik is a clear liar and i also made a specific video on kalki avatar some 3 years back but i am sure that the new people who have joined my channel would have not seen that so i want to reclarify one thing on kalki avatar and kalki purana very specific to kalki purana i want to reclarify some points please see the video in full to understand the full picture point number 1 as per the knowledge of vedas which almighty god emanates inside the heart of rishis god never sends avatar god never comes into birth and death god never sends messengers avatar means to come down god cannot come down or take birth because god is omnipresent that which is in the top is also here in the bottom so coming down does not happen in the case of almighty god so god does not take avatar Whereas Zakir Naik says, no, no, God does not take avatar, but avatar means messenger. Avatar means messenger is a wrong concept because God is a pariya God, Shukram Akayam. He is Shukram. He is Almighty. He does not need messengers to convey his message. God gives the knowledge of Vedas inside the soul. A soul, when it attains a samadhi by intense Ashtanga Yoga practice, by intense Veda Adhyayan, by Acharya Seva, by practicing Brahmacharya and other Yama Niyam. the soul attains a samadhi and in the samadhi state the soul realizes the knowledge of vedas and the almighty god so god does not print vedas as a book and say that see this is the vedas knowledge this is my knowledge please read no god emanates the knowledge inside the heart of a rishi that is why he is called as a rishi muni tapasvi and rishis are not messengers i have made a very clear video on that in the past also rishis are not messengers of god by intense ashtanga yoga tapasya by practicing veda adhyayan and brahmacharya and other tapasyas that rishi attained the title because he realized vedas whereas messenger is a chosen person by almighty god god is favoring one particular person to be a messenger to convey god's message so messengerism comes into picture when god becomes partial whereas almighty god is impartial in the vedas so god never sends messengers now coming to kalki purana Puranas are not authentic Sanatan Dharma books. Puranas contradicts to Vedas because Purana speaks about Avatar Vad. Purana speaks about Almighty God taking birth and death, etc. Five Almighty God. There are many gods in Shiva Purana. Shiva is the main god. In Vishnu Purana, Vishnu is the main god. In Kalki Purana, Kalki Avatar is the god. There are different different concepts in different different Purana which contradicts to the Vedas. So Puranas are not authentic Sanatan Dharma books. and puranas are not written by vyasmuni because vyasmuni when we read his original scripts mahabharata 4400 shlokas which is called as jaya and brahma sutra or vedanta darshana and the commentaries of vyasmuni on padanjal yoga darshanam if we read these three things we can clearly understand that vyasmuni was a great philosopher of vedas he can never write anything called as purana so somebody wrote a book purana some 2000 1500 3000 years back and then kept vyas muni as the author of the purana to divert people to destroy the sanatan dharma so puranas kalki purana is not a authentic sanatan dharma scripture even though i will take one more step also even though kalki purana is not an is not an authentic book when we speak about the second chapter fifth verse sixth verse seventh eighth ninth tenth like that does it speak about prophet muhammad or not we must understand it does not speak about prophet muhammad even though it is a wrong book i will explain to you one fundamental concept to for you to understand kalki avatar is not prophet muhammad god does not send avatar so kalki avatar can never come there was no avatar of you know we say vishnu avatar or varaha avatar this avatar that avatar never came 
and kalki avatar also will not come but still i will explain to you kalki avatar is not prophet muhammad in simple logic point number 1 zakir naik says the father of prophet muhammad was abdullah and the father of kalki avatar in kalki purana is vishnu yas he says vishnu yas translation is abdullah he says vishnu yas means servant of god abdullah means servant of allah so both are same translation he says which is a foolish translation a name cannot be translated in any language for example if your name is bharat in any country you go you go to sweden or japan or spain or arab countries your name will be you will introduce that my name is bharat or watashava bharat das in japanese if you if you go to any language you will speak that language and say bharat only bharat name cannot be translated and still if you translate vishnu yas it is not abdullah vishnu means vishlari vyapto vishnu vishnu means omnipresent almighty god allah is not omnipresent as per quran so translation of vishnu yas is not abdullah this has to be clearly understood second point he says that the mother of prophet muhammad was amina and the mother of kalki avatar in kalki purana although kalki purana is not authentic book he says kalki purana mentions the kalki avatar mother name is sumati he says amina means serenity and peace and sumati means serenity and peace again the same logic you cannot translate a name in another language and the translation of sumati is not amina sumati mati means intellect sumati means the intellect which has become pious by practice of ashtanga yoga by veda adhyayan by serving the acharya it has div- the person has got a pious intellect that's why his name or her name is called as sumati whereas amina means serenity or divine uh, serenity or peace he says so sumati translation is not amina so on the third point he says that kalki avatar is born in the city of sambal he translate sambal as makka there is no uh, there is no place called as sambal we can know today but translation of sambal sambal is means a city of peace he translate makka as city of peace we cannot do that because the peace is obtained as per the almighty god knowledge of vedas a peace is established in a place for with a certain conditions point number 1 the ruler of the place has to be a vedic vidwan that means the prime minister or a minister or the king who is ruling that place has to be a learned of vedas then only he can establish peace point number 2 that the people who live in that area they are vedic followers because of the vedic followers they will be called as noble people or aryas only people who are aryas they can establish peace they do not fight for you know any power or position they will not have any politics inside them so and also most important thing is peace is established by yajna a place where an acharya resides and then he he you know do he does prachar of vedas to the local public or the public there then the peace is established otherwise there is nothing called a city of peace this has to be clearly understood and further he says prophet muhammad was born in the qureshi family and kalki avatar will be born in the chief priest he says that si qureshi are chief priest we must understand the meaning of priest in sanskrit priest is a person who preaches vedas priest is a person who adopts brahmacharya priest is a person who adopts truth in the life who will teach only the vedic knowledge in the life who will not tell lies so this is called as priest in the sanatan dharma point of view whereas kureshis they do not follow vedas they do not follow brahmacharya they do not follow the vedic teachings in the life so we cannot compare you know kalki purana kalki avatar to prophet muhammad if you want to prove prophet muhammad existence then you prove from your books now why you are coming into kalki purana although kalki purana is not a authentic book i made this video to reclarify because many people every day you know they send so many comments in my other videos that kalki avatar is prophet muhammad kalki avatar is prophet muhammad no kalki avatar will not come at all number 1 because god does not sends avatar and there is nothing called as kalki avatar number 2 and number 3 even if you assume that kalki avatar is as per kalki purana the translation of kalki purana and the you know the significance or whatever uh, name of father mother mentioned in your, in hadiths or quran does not tally with the kalki purana so do not mess it up you only are trying to mess up your you why you want to you know convert hindus to muslims by saying this kind of wrong quotation this is totally wrong this is foolishness so that's why i want to make a short video if you want to believe in any religion believe it 
there are people in hindu religions who will believe kalki purana who will believe, believe shrimad bhagavatam who will believe in vishnu purana who will believe in shiva purana let them believe it but that is contradicting to vedas means it is contradicting only we can i have to speak the truth but if somebody is believing in shiva purana and says that shiva shiva is the almighty god we cannot change it but the fundamental will not change similarly if you say that allah is almighty god there is no argument about it because fundamental of almighty god in veda says god om his name is om his name is not allah in the vedic vedic sanatan dharma but somebody says shiva is god somebody says allah is god it's your own wish it is your own perception but do not try to you know come into the hindu text and then try to manipulate or misinterpret people uh, misinterpret textbook and then guide misguide people thank you so much namaste om